Okay, so we're here for the Doctor of Smiles orientation, and I will proceed. So at the Humanitarian Foundation, what's our mission statement? It's a good place to start. We believe that children with special needs should live as fully and as independently as possible. And we are passionately committed to helping to alleviate suffering and improve quality of life by providing dental care for those who otherwise may go without it. One smile at a time. So just a quick uh, history of the Humanitarian Foundation it was founded in 1949 as the official charity of Grotto's International. And we provide free dental care for special needs children across North America at the moment. Um, and I think we're still looking into uh, what we can do for the newer Grotto's south of the border. Uh, it's funded by Grotto members and other supporters, and the, the program began with helping children with cerebral palsy, but later expanded to encompass all special needs children under the age of 21. We partner with dentists throughout the United States and Canada, and the foundation has provided essential dental care to countless children ensuring their smiles and well-being for generations to come. So let's meet the Doctor of Smiles. They're, they're Grotto volunteers, and we say they're uh, men of grace, and they're key to the operation of the dental program. They're the Grotto representatives in the community who work with families, dentists, and the Humanitarian Foundation to ensure that special kids get special smiles. Okay, uh, we confirm. At the first Doctor of Smiles seminar in 2011, Edward Sterling, DDS from Akbar Grotto, aptly described what a Doctor of Smiles does and who he is in the following way. This is where we see a doctor of smiles is a mediator, ambassador, negotiator, originator, facilitator, grantor of help, recruiter, an advocate, conduit, and enabler. And all that spells a man of grace. So all of you doctors of smiles out there, we thank you. So we help uh, families and dentists navigate the Humanitarian Foundation's dental care program for children with special needs. The doctor of smiles assists with paperwork, applications, and communication, ensuring a smooth process for everyone involved. While not actual doctors, they serve as the local connection to the program and are happy to answer questions from the parents and or dentists. So we have several resources available for the Doctors of Smiles. So get familiar with the Humanitarian Foundation website. It's at hfgrotto.org. Find the Dental Care for Children with Special Needs program info on the website and bookmark it. Get to know our secretary, Tim Brooks, as if you didn't know him already. He's our chairman of the Dental Care for Children with Special Needs program. And get to know the dentists in your area and if they serve special needs children and if they perform dentistry under anesthesia. 
set up a time to visit their office and provide some program brochures and toothbrushes in case they encounter children who could benefit from the program. Brochures and toothbrushes can be ordered by contacting the office at 614-933-0711 and get to know the resources that can help those with special needs locate a dentist or accomplish other things in the community. Some examples are the United Way, Goodwill Industries, and Volunteers of America. So a while back, we sent out the uh, updated training manual that our uh, office admin, uh, Kimberly Gallion, put together for us. And uh, everyone should have a copy of that. If you don't, you can reach out to her or myself, and we can get you a copy of that. And uh, we're working on a new HF Grotto website. And in that, we're trying to incorporate a secretary's portal so that each grotto can keep up with the number of children that they help. And then, of course, you have the trustees that are available to help you as well. Our office staff is uh, ran by Kimberly Gallion. She's our administrative assistant. And you can get her at the uh, hf at hfgrotto.org email address. Or you can call her at the office at 614-933-0711. Among the myriad of other things that Kimberly does for the foundation, she accepts all of the Enchanted Lantern and Fairchild forms and payments. She's the one you reach out to to request a toothbrush kit, to get brochures and other promotional materials. And she answers questions about the dental program. She's available Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 Eastern Time. Say hi, Kimberly. You on the call? I'm here. Yes. Hello. Hello. Thank Can you, you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for being here. Thank you for everything you do for us. Anything you want to say? Um, good Sunday evening. I look forward to hearing from all of you and reaching out to you regarding the paperwork that comes in. Please let me know if you have any questions. Fantastic. I introduce you to our current board of trustees. Our current chairman is George Abram. He's from Zalikia Grotto. I think he's up there with Mr. Glace. We have uh, Otto Thiergart, past Grand Monarch. He's our first vice chairman. He's from uh, Zelica Grotto in Pensacola, Florida. And you got that guy in the middle there, Craig Frazier. I'm the second vice chairman. I'm in from Ormaz Grotto in Orlando, Florida. We got Tim Brooks. He's our secretary. And he's from Kahana Shakar, Shahar, Shahar Grotto. And then Gene Myers is our treasurer. And he's from Ibn Saad over in Indiana. So now we're going to get into the meat of the dental program. We're going to talk about eligibility requirements, how the parents can apply, how to find a local doctor of smiles, and the paperwork that is required. So to be eligible for the dental care program, it's for children under 21 years of age with uh, one or more of the following conditions. 
cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, and related neuromuscular disorders, intellectual disabilities, including Down syndrome and autism, were profound to two years overall delayed. Now, documentation from the child's school licensed psychologist or physician is usually required. Dental care for organ transplant recipients, pre and post. And we also do cleft lip and palate through the Shriners hospitals. And we get a lot of questions about Medicaid and they're not, they're not covered by the program. Um, our program is basically the secondary carrier for insurance when it's involved and acts as the primary carrier if no insurance is available. And it covers the maximum allowable fees as determined by the Humanitarian Foundation. So we negotiate the costs with the dentists uh, depending on what the service is. Finding a doctor of smiles. So this is where you go to the website. And let me do that for you. So here we go. We're at the homepage of hfgrotto.org. We're going to go over here. So here's the dental, dental program under programs. But here, find a grotto representative near you. Let's see if we can find one. So you see it pops a map of North America up here. And you can actually move this around. You can Click that, it zooms in. Click that to see who's there. Zoom it in even further. Zoom in it even further. Or you can come over here. And let's look up. Let's see who's in Daytona Beach. Uh-oh. Might have to fix that. Try Jacksonville. Let's try Jacksonville. We know there's one there. Yep, there we go. So your Dr. Smiles for Jacksonville is Mr. Leif Olson. And he's with Oz Grotto. So if you're out and about and a parent is asking you about, well, where do I find my local Dr. Smiles if it's not you? You can send them here and it, they can call him up right there. So to apply for the dental care for children with special needs program, the parents and the Child's dentists both need to fill out separate forms. Additionally, if the child is intellectually delayed uh, with disabilities like Down syndrome or autism, a letter from a doctor or psychologist confirming their developmental delay is required. All completed documents are then submitted to the local Doctor of Smiles representative, or if there isn't one available, they can go to the Humanitarian Foundation directly. So what are those paperwork that we're talking about? So we have the parent or legal guardian form. And the parent or the legal guardian must complete and submit it to the local doctor of smiles. Or again, directly to the HF if the doctor of smiles isn't available in their area. 
Alternately, the parent or legal guardian may complete the form online. So this goes directly to the website where they can fill out an online form instead of doing the actual paper one. And the dentist must also complete the form and he has to be really detailed about this. And this is why you doctors of smiles get these to look over to make sure that they've completely filled it out before you send it up. Uh, the dental office may print off a pre-treatment evaluation, but it has to be attached to the fully completed form. The grotto representative will immediately forward both forms to the Humanitarian Foundation Office for Processing. You guys got to remember to sign those. And contact the parents uh, on the forms that you receive. Ask if they need any help or have any further questions. Um, you can also uh, speak with the dentist in case they're unclear about anything on it as well. Here's what the parent form looks like. It's a pretty simple form. You just got the date, what the local grotto is, the name of the child, address, phone number, date of birth, father, mother, legal guardian, insurance if they have it, yes or no. Yes, provide the provider, the provider, the group number, their primary care physician, the status of their general health, their specified medical condition or diagnosis, which would qualify them for the program. When it was diagnosed, any hospitalization, therapy, what their present mental age is. Remember, they need to be two years or more uh, behind. And what medications they use. These are all very important when it comes to uh, doing the dentistry. And here's where your doctor smiles, puts his name, address, and phone number, and then you make sure the parent signs it right here. Now, this form reiterates the eligibility requirements for the patient. Then there's the dentist form. You can see there's a lot more blank spaces on here. But it's the sponsoring grotto, the child's condition, name, birth date, address, parents' information, the dentist's name and information. And then here's basically where the dentist lines out his treatment. He's going to put it in this form here and the fees. So all of this, he comes to you, the grotto representative, the doctor of smiles. So he has to sign it. You need to sign it after you've made sure he's filled out everything on here. And then that goes to the HF office for approval. Now, Kimberly, you can jump in anytime if, uh, if I left anything out or forgot to say something. You're doing great. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. So here's another thing that uh, the Dr. Smiles usually takes care of, and it's usually with a lot of help from your local Grotto members. And the it's a toothbrush program and it's designed to generate funds to be placed in a charitable trust of the humanitarian foundation and it helps us to continue our dental care for special needs children and the benefit for your grotto is to provide the pub positive public image of the grotto to the people in your community 
And this positive image will give you a vehicle to promote and attract Grotto membership. The toothbrush program is a successful way for Grottoes to connect with their community and raise money for the Humanitarian Foundation's dental care program for special needs children by handing out toothbrushes and sharing the Grotto story. Members engage the public, improve their image, and potentially attract new members while donations can't be solicited, they are gratefully accepted. And the program's minimal time commitment makes it a valuable tool for grottos across the country. No individual grotto or association may make a profit from this program. Because of strict IRS guidelines, all of the money must be turned into the Humanitarian Foundation. No expenses are to be deducted from the donations. All donations are to be returned to the Humanitarian Foundation. So get a toothbrush kit. This is how you start one of these. Toothbrushes will be provided by the Humanitarian Foundation. And two aprons will be provided at no charge with 500 toothbrushes. Or if you order a thousand toothbrushes, you can get four aprons. If you need more than four aprons, you can purchase additional ones at $15 each. The toothbrushes are all individually wrapped, multicolored, and child sized. And they're a quality toothbrush and they're assembled to promote the grotto. If the program is conducted properly, the toothbrush will become synonymous of the grotto, such as pencils and rulers, etc., are to other charitable organizations. So you can get these by how? Contacting Kimberly. HF at hfgrotto.org or 614-933-0711. We also have the order form on the website under Grotto members. Mm -hmm. uh, drop, uh, the Grotto members drop down, comes to Toothbrush program, I believe it is. And at the very bottom of that page, there's um, the Toothbrush manual, the Toothbrush Day report, and the Toothbrush order form. Here they are. Here's what the apron looks like. It's pretty cool. Got all kinds of spaces for your toothbrushes. So there's your order form. Like she said, you can get it online. And once you get your kit with your aprons and your toothbrushes and your pamphlets, hold a toothbrush day. Now, I've seen this happen in front of Publix grocery stores here in Florida, uh, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, just about anywhere that a lot of people are going to come. You can usually talk with the management of that establishment and set up a date where you can come out and put a table up and you guys can hand out toothbrushes, talk to people about the Humanitarian Foundation and what you do. And it's great to have some grotto stories there with you as well for Masons you might run into that may want to think about joining us. Now, while we can't actually say, hey, give us some money, you can put a donation box out there and you can hold cans out that says donations on it, but you can't actually ask. You can position yourself close to the entrance or exit so you can make eye contact with people. Once you make eye contact with the person, it's hard for them to say no. If you got a table set up, try to stand in front of the table 
so you can more easily talk to people when they come up or come by. And say, we provide free dental care for children with special needs and cerebral palsy research. A lot of times that'll really, really get them. And it's a good thing to practice what you're going to say before you actually get there. A lot of people will hand you a donation right then, but uh, it's, a, it's a great way to pass out the information about what we do, if nothing else. But we usually do really well. I think there's one place, there's a Publix here in uh, Orlando we do every year, uh, and we usually walk away with over $1,000. So it's, uh, it's a good thing. A lot of people are ready to give, especially when they see the fez on your head. That's that's the thing here. Be sure you always wear your fez. So when the event is over, you must file that report within 30 days to the Humanitarian Foundation office. And the form is provided with your toothbrush kit when you get it as well as you can download it off the website there. Because the Humanitarian Foundation is providing these brushes to you at no cost, it's imperative that they keep an accounting of the brushes and that they're not lying around in the back room of Grotto somewhere. If the report and funds are not reported within 30 days, the Grotto will be billed for the brushes at 35 cents each, plus $15 per apron and shipping costs. Please use, utilize the program to your advantage to help promote the Grotto as we continue our endeavors to help those special needs children. Okay, so we're going to look at some frequently asked questions. And these uh, these frequently asked questions are also in the new Doctor of Smiles manual that we sent out a few months ago. So I'm just gonna step through them real quick. What do I say to a parent or dentist that contacts me about the program? Well, you thank them for contacting you and let them know that there's information on the website. Give them the website address, hfgrotto.org and let them know where the forms are located so they can go on and fill out the online form or download the PDF and print it off. And you can also get their email address and send the forms to them. How do you start the process? The parent completes the parent form. The dentist completes the dentist form. If the child is intellectually disabled, this is when you gotta have that written letter from the child's physician or licensed school psychologist stating that the child is classified as at least two years overall intellectually de delayed. And then you send all that paperwork to the, they'll send all the paperwork to you. Like I said, you go through and make sure everything is where it needs to be work with the parent and the dentist if there's anything missing, and then send it up to the Humanitarian Foundation office. And yes, the forms are available online as we've shown you. You can download the forms from hfgrotto.org. And then here's the link to that parent form that's online, but it's also under the uh, dental program dropdown on the website. Who is eligible? So we covered that. It's for children under 21 years of age. And we recently raised that from 18, so now it's 21 years or younger. With cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, other related. Boss, um, Go ahead. I had to catch up all the laundry and the house cleaning and all that fun stuff that I do usually every weekend. Before I go back to work on Monday, 
Could you please mute? I can hear you talking about doing the laundry and going back to work. <laughs> okay. Again, organ transplant recipients, intellectual disabilities, two years overall delayed, and you need that documentation. So what if the child has insurance? So again, we are the secondary carrier when insurance is involved, and we're the primary carrier if no insurance is available. And we cover the maximum allowable fees as determined by the HF. Money received from the primary insurance company or other organizations should be deducted from the total fee on the statement of actual services before being presented for payment. Craig Marvin Tilly from Oz. Sir. Um, is that something the insurance companies automatically do, or does the actual parent have to file that separately? Now, Kimberly can back me up on this, but I think the the dentist will charge the uh, the insurance first if they have insurance, and then what the insurance doesn't cover, they will bill they will bill us, and then we we pick up the remainder. Okay, so they bill us directly, or does it go to the parent, and the parent has to reach out to us to get that reimbursed? Normally, the dentist will send in the statement with the explanation of benefits from the insurance company. Um, in very rare cases, the parent may find that the dentist did not send the paperwork, and they'll send what they can to us. But in most cases, I end up getting that paperwork from the dentist. Thanks, Kimberly. You good, Marvin? Most certainly perfect. Thank you, Kimberly. Great answer. Thank you. Uh -huh. And it's the, it's the same for Medicaid. Whatever Medicaid doesn't cover we can come in and help take care of the rest of it and i think most of the time that's anesthesia correct yeah that happens sometimes that medicaid won't cover the anesthesia so they'll submit the anesthesia bill awesome do we help locate the dentist so no, the parent selects the dentist of his or her choice. And by signing the parent form, the undersigned acknowledges that he or she is selecting the dentist of their choice. And the dentist has not been recommended by the Humanitarian Foundation or Grottos International. Grottos do not review the credentials, expertise, or abilities of any dentist. And the undersigned acknowledges that he, she is selecting the dentist at their own risk. And in addition, they release and discharge the Humanitarian Foundation or Grottos International from all liability and claims arising out of or related to the selection of any dentist or the provision of services by that dentist. This release is freely and voluntarily given. So basically, this keeps us out of trouble. Does the program cover all costs? So it covers only a portion of the dental and anesthesia costs. And like we were saying earlier, the amount of coverage is based on a fee schedule determined by the Humanitarian Foundation. When the dentist submits a new, wait, what happened here? Guys, you guys caught me in a, uh, you guys caught me in a uh, error. So what do I do when the dentist submits a new patient to the program without the parent form. 
So you will ask the dentist if they have the parent form on file or if they could have the parent fill out the parent form. If not, then you can reach out to the parent to get it from them. And again, here's uh, what is the Dr. Smiles? It's the Grotto volunteer in your community. Serves as a liaison with the parents in the dental office to see all the paperwork is provided and properly completed. They also file the child's application with the HF office for processing. And you maintain contact with the parent and dentist throughout the course of the child's care. I know I've heard a lot of guys say, well, I just get these in the mail and I sign them and send them on up. You know, you're supposed to be doing a little bit more than that. And again, you're not actually doctors. We all know that. Some of you might be. Uh, mostly uh, Grotto volunteers. I am, but not the kind that'll do you any good. <laughs> God bless you, sir. So what do I do if I only receive the parent form? Well, the next step there is to have the dentist complete the dentist form. And the parent can download the dentist form off the website and give it to their dentist to complete. And again, the dentist got to fill out everything on that paper. Don't leave anything blank. And they can send along the pretreatment evaluation, but they got to fill out that dentist form completely. And then you can submit it to the Humanitarian Foundation office. <coughs> So what do I do when I receive only the parent form for a child with autism or intellectual disability? So you just got the form, but you're looking for that letter from the school psychologist or the physician, right? That lets them know uh, how far the child is intellectually disabled. It has to be two years. And I explained to them that the program requires that additional proof of eligibility. What if the dentist asks for payment in advance? So be aware that the payment is rendered to the dentist after the service has been completed. You can ask the dentist if they're able to reimburse the individual or entity that provides payment in advance once they receive payment from the Humanitarian Foundation. Do you cover the cost of the hospital? We cover a portion of that for dental procedures and the anesthesia. Where do I send the completed forms? That goes directly to the Humanitarian Foundation office. You can send it by mail fax or email. Here's the mailing address. 430 Beecher Road, Gahanna, Ohio, 43230. The fax number is 614-933-0481. And again, you can email it to Kimberly at hf at hfgrotto.org. So more about the payments. The dental care for children with special needs Payments are made based on a fee schedule after service has been completed. They're paid to the dentist or anesthesiologist in a paper check form sent through the United States Postal Service. Could take up to 90 days from the receipt of the statement of actual services completed for the dentist or anesthesiologist to receive payment. All the paperwork must be submitted to the local doctor of smiles or again, if there's not one available in that area, directly to the Humanitarian Foundation office. Here's something that's kind of new. I received something from Adobe Sign on behalf of the Humanitarian Foundation requesting my signature. What do I do? So the screen will give you instructions on how to sign the document for the office. And if you have questions, Contact Kimberly at 614-933-0711 or email her at hf.hfgrotto.org. 
Most of the dental paperwork is done electronically these days, and the office can save these electronic documents and send them out for signature quickly and easily. So it saves the time through the mail. So if you get one of those from Kimberly, just follow the directions. It's just a couple of clicks usually. Can the dentist or anesthesiologist reimburse the patient? Yes, they can. For any out-of-pocket expense, once they've applied the Humanitarian Foundation's payment to the unpaid balance, it's what the insurance didn't pay. Can the Humanitarian Foundation pay the patient, parent, or doctor of smiles directly. The Humanitarian Foundation must pay the dentist and or anesthesiologist. Check with the dentist or anesthesiologist first to ensure that they are willing to reimburse the patient for any out-of-pocket expense once they've applied the Humanitarian Foundation's payment to their unpaid balance. And last frequently asked question, what is the Humanitarian Foundation? It's the official charity of Grotto's International, created in 1949 by the Supreme Council. A charity is an organization set up to provide help and raise money for those in need. The money raised by the Humanitarian Foundation is used to provide help to children with special needs with their dental care costs. Any child under the age of 21, regardless of race, creed, or color with qualifying condition, is welcome to participate in the dental care for children with special needs program. The program uses a fee-based schedule to cover a portion of the child's dental care costs. Payment based on our fee schedule is sent to the dentist or anesthesiologist after the work has been done. Two forms to complete for a child who may be eligible to participate in the program. Again, all the forms and information can be found on the Humanitarian Foundation website. The Humanitarian Foundation raises money through Enchanted Lantern contributions, Fairchild Society contributions, and Grotto Toothbrush Days. Additional information about the Foundation can be found on the website, hfgrotto.org, or by contacting the office Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 Eastern, by phone at 614-933-0711 or by email at hf at hfgrotto.org. Okay, anybody got any questions, comments, anything you want to discuss, anything that was unclear? Craig, I just want to say, man, great presentation. Uh, we just submitted for Bigfoot's Monarch Circle and four other Enchanted Lanterns from Oz. Uh, I know Leaf has always been working real hard. I did not see him get on here tonight, but I've taken some good notes. And uh, hey, man, we're we're looking forward to moving this thing forward. Thank you for a great presentation. Thank you, Right Worshipful. Uh, yeah, Lee's been doing this for a few years, right? So he's he's one of the seasoned veterans. He has, and I'm I'm I, I send the invite, but I, it's probably an ice man game here in Jacksonville tonight. So he's probably watching hockey. Well, you know, not that Jeff knows anything about hockey. Oh, that Snyder guy. That Snyder guy. He's probably watching hockey too, but it depends on if they're home and away. Well, he's a Lightning fan. Arthur uh, I, Aaron's AJ, raise your hand. Yes, there. sir. Hey, real fast. I just want to know how we can clone Kim. Because ever since I've been getting Enchanted Lanterns and Fairchild stuff, it's amazing how well she processes everything. So you want so to she, do, find out? Well, I missed the first part of your question. Oh, I'm 
was just kidding about how we can clone Kimberly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's amazing. She is. She does a fantastic job for us. She's uh, all all them girls at at an international. They're fantastic. Yeah, we've got some we've got some really good girls up there, and they really uh, they really do good work for us. We definitely appreciate them. Pat is like the mother Teresa to us secretaries that don't know what the hell we're doing. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> so if you'll notice. Uh, on my on the screen here i've put up the uh, miles for special smiles uh charity motorcycle ride can you guys see that yeah i got you five oh so zendegrado in plant city florida um uh, one of their prophets his name is travis barbie he's uh he started this uh ride for special smiles campaign and Basically, he's uh, going to ride, uh, a few people are going to get together with him and ride from Plant City, Florida, all the way to Anchorage, Alaska, and back. And his goal is to get sponsorships from all the grottos along the route, or whoever else wants to give him any money. And uh, his goal is to raise $50,000 for HF. I think it's an amazing cause. Uh, it's an amazing thing that he's trying to do, and uh, I really hope all of you will go back to your local grotto and and let them know about this. You're going to get a, a letter from the HF office about this with the flyers included, so I hope you guys will go back to your local grotto and discuss this, what a great thing it is, and uh, hopefully, you know, sponsor sponsor him a little bit there's different levels of sponsorship i don't have that information in front of me but uh i think it's uh somebody said it was like if you donate 500 dollars, you can get your name on their t-shirt uh, so there'll be a lot more information about it but he's got a facebook group up about it and uh, he's got a website you can see here at the bottom he's even got a barcode for you to scan his phone number and his buddy Chris, who's helping him with this. So please think about how much uh, they're putting into this ride. And uh, think about helping them out a little bit. Remember, all of it comes back to HF, which is our charity. So we really appreciate it. Anybody have anything else they want to talk about? Hi. Uh, good evening, sorry. Sean Tomasic from Islam. Um, raise my hand. There's my phone. I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm mobile. Oh, there you go. Samsung. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Sean Tomasic from Islam again. Um, question. Is there any limitations on dollar amounts or number of encounters that a patient may be able to have throughout their lifetime and possibly going through this program? That is a Kimberly question. I don't think so, but I'll let her answer that one. Not that I know of, it just their eligibility ends at the age of 21. Um, okay. Otherwise, though, all of their treatments, uh, proposed treatments and their regular cleanings are based on the fee schedules. So. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming there's probably patients that routinely because of certain needs or if it's cleaning schedules participate in this on a frequency basis that's not a one time or two time thing i'm i'm just it's new to me so i just just asking yes there's um existing patients that go in for the every 6 months cleaning and if the dentist should find any additional treatment necessary they'll place in a proposed treatment for that and they'll move forward with that treatment and submit the final paperwork for that as well. So that's all processed. Um, we don't cap, we don't have a cap on how much they can spend in the am amount of time that they're within the program. Uh, I appreciate that. I was just thinking of if I got that question when I have an event, I just wanted to be able to answer that. So thank you. Uh-huh. Awesome. Anybody else? 
Going once. Going twice. Uh, uh, pardon me, is, is this uh, uh, PowerPoint that you have, is it available? Is it on the website? I'm sorry I was late, uh, but uh, I think that'd be quite uh, helpful. No problem, Gary. I do uh, plan to uh, send this out via email to all of the uh, Doctors of Smiles. Uh, I will also put it up on my uh, on the uh, HF Facebook group, and uh, I'll see if uh, if Kimberly can get it up on the uh, on the website. Maybe it might take a little more doing, but I, I can take care of the first couple easily. Okay. Right, make sure the secretary is on copy, please, sir. Ten four. Yeah, that that'd be a good way to handle things. Yes, sir. I'll uh, I'll send it out, and I'll send out the uh, updated Doctor Smiles uh, training manual with along with it, just so you have both. Beautiful. Thank you. I like it, folks. Thank you so much. Yep. Appreciate everyone's time. Thank you, Doctors of Smiles and everyone that's attended that are that are helping out with that, with the toothbrush days and everything. Keep up the good work. We have a strong foundation. We're doing a lot of good work for the children out there. And just like to thank you again for volunteering and, and helping us out. All right, everybody. Have a great evening. Don't work too hard this week. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Craig. Bye. Thank you.